need to incubate at a temperature that's lower than room temperature, but don't have a refrigerated incubator, go ahead and stick a normal incubator into a cold room and use that. Now your room temperature is a lot colder, in the case of a cold room, about 4 degrees Celsius. So when you have that incubator that says it can go from ambient or like room temperature up into some sort of high degree, um, well now your room temperature is your ambient is lower and so you're able to get to a lower temperature. So this can be really great if you don't have one of those incubators with a refrigerating system that can go below the ambient temperature. You'll want to go ahead and use it um, before you're actually ready for your samples to go in the incubator. Make sure you um, kind of condition the incubator. You want to stick it in there beforehand, get it to the, like set it to the temperature you want. Use a thermometer to make sure it's actually at the temperature you want. You don't want to have your samples shaken at like four degrees Celsius probably. Um, but you might want to do it at like 16 degrees Celsius, but you might have to set your incubator for like 16 and a half, depending on the incubator and what it thinks the temperature is. But sticking an incubator into a cold room can be a cost-saving technique um, if you don't have one of those refrigerated tools. Um, though you might need to split your flasks up into some smaller flasks, which is what I've been doing, starting at the bigger centrifuge with the bigger shaker at 37 and then moving to 16 degrees Celsius overnight. Um, for protein expression. I tend to have good luck with that. Um, it helps proteins fold properly and stay soluble rather than doing like a shorter expression at a higher temperature. But different proteins like different things, so you just gotta find what works for you um, and what works for your lab and that sort of thing and your protein. So, hope that helps and happy experiments.